Okay, now it's my turn. This class uh, that I taught in Orlando is called Playful Footwork with a Tease. So I'm going to explain real briefly what that means. It means that, for instance, if he's leading me into a basic underarm turn or side pass, it, in this case we'll do an underarm turn. If I don't continue through the flow, like I would a basic, and stop, he may think that I'm going to stop and move through. But I'm going to tease him there. I'm going to stop and do something. That's an example. But the first one we're going to have is I'm going to have Michael do a little move where he's going to tease me and pretend like he's going to turn, but he doesn't quite yet. So I'm going to have him lead one and he's going to come forward on his right foot on two and turn on three and stay on his right foot. And his right arm goes over my right arm. Normally the guy just turns into it and comes out. But what he's going to do is he's going to fool me there. He's going to go one, two, three. He's going to turn, but he's not going to come out of it. That's four. He's going to go five. He's going to move forward onto his left foot on six. Do a hand change and then anchor seven and eight. All right, let's do that again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, eight. Now for the ladies, don't get all freaked out on this one. All you have to do is one, two, right, left. Stay on your left foot. As he does this, see, as he moves away, I move to my right foot. As he comes in, I move to my left foot. As he moves away, I go to my right foot. As he anchors, as he turns, I anchor seven and eight, left, right, left. So the ladies is right, left, okay? And I go to the right, I go to the left. I go to the right, and then left, right, left. That's the first one. Now, and guys, you can really play with that one. This is the one where you can kind of sneak. The teasing part of that would be to do your one, two, look over your shoulder at her, and come back and look at her and look over your shoulder, and then take her hand and step away. Again, it looks like I'm going to take off, but I turn right where I'm standing, and I'm back into the triple step. Okay. Now, what's going to, what we're going to do next is an underarm turn. We're in this hand position, so we're going to go into an underarm turn. This is where I'm going to tease him, and then he's going to tease me back. He's going to lead. I'm going to go right, left. And I got my left hand, place it on top of my right arm, and I tone my arms to let him know I'm going to stay here, and I'm going to do a triple in place. The leader, he went... On his left back, replace forward onto his right foot. He's going to hold for the next two beats while I do my triple with a little Latin motion. Right, left, right. That was three and a four. Normally, I could come out, go five, six, seven, and a eight. But he's going to stop me and tease back by stopping me on four. On four, he's going to touch me here to say, stay here. He's going to do a triple. And he did left, right, left. Now he's going to let go to let me know that it's free to move. I'm going to go left, right, left, and he's going to go right, left, right, and we face each other. Let's take a look at that from this angle. Again, that's one, one two, two, three, and a four. Five and a six, seven and a eight. Okay? Now, he's going to lead an underarm turn with a hand change and lead a right side pass. Or attempt to lead a right side pass. I like that word, attempt. One, two, three and a four, five and a six. So we have a hand change. Normally, on a basic right side pass, and we'll do it. One, two, he does a hand change, three and four. Five and a six. But what's going to happen here, I'm going to tease him a little bit. And one and a two. Again, I did not squeeze his hand or pound my body into his body to tell him to stop. I stopped myself and I did right, left, right. I'm on my right foot. And I'm pressing and toning my muscles in my body and toning my arm. He feels me stop. Now, I'm not going to let go because I'm going to go back to where I started. I'm on my right foot. I go left, right, five, six, and anchor, seven, and uh, eight. After this, he can lead anything he wants. And guys, you just did advanced footwork. Did you see it? Right. 
<laughs> right, perfect. The leader can stay there or he can go one, two, hold three, four, five, six if he wanted to, so he can have his left foot free, or he can stand there for the whole six beat. Now, on that, that first sequence, when she runs into the hip, you have your one, and you don't know it's coming, and when it happens, it catches your attention, and you look back to see what's going on. When she goes back, depending on how quick you are, if you can see what foot she's on to go back, you can switch and back up with a lady. Sure. Or she goes from there, you could just move your hips for two beats of music just so there's a rhythm going with the lady. On her last triple step, if your feet are this far apart, don't try to move your feet. Just leave them steady. Let her finish the pattern, triple step, and then immediately lead another pattern, inside roll, hand change, and you get out of the pattern quickly, but it still looks well connected to the partner. Now we're going to try this whole amalgamation with music, and I mean try. Okay, you ready? Stick around because we still have one more for you. Okay.